have a good day. Today's topic is about Introduction and History of AS 9100 AS 9100 Aerospace Quality Management Quality management in the aerospace industry can be the defining factor between financial success and costly mistakes. AS 9100 can standardize the way you work and secure a solid industry reputation. What is AS 9100 Aerospace Quality Management? Point 1 AS 9100, BSE N 9100, is the single common quality management standard for the entire aerospace industry. It is used and supported by the world's leading aerospace companies and throughout their supply chains. AS 9100 can be used by organizations across the aerospace sector, including design, manufacturing, maintenance and distributing companies. It is used and supported by the world's leading aerospace companies and throughout their supply chains. AS 9100 can be used by organizations across the aerospace sector, including design, manufacturing, maintenance and distributing companies. Let's know something from past to present. Point 1 Prior to development of AS 9100 standards for quality management systems, the U.S. military applied two specifications to supplier quality and inspection programs, respectively, MILC U9858A, Quality Program Requirement and MIL I45208A, Military Specification. Point 2 Inspection System Requirements. For years these specifications had represented the basic tenets of the aerospace industry. However, when the U.S. government adopted ISO 9001, it withdrew those two quality standards. Point 3 Large aerospace companies then began requiring their suppliers to develop quality programs based on ISO 9001. AS 9000, 1997, Aerospace Basic Quality System Standard Reason 1 As aerospace suppliers soon found that ISO 9001, 1994, did not address the specific requirements of their customers, including the DoD, NASA, FA and commercial, aerospace companies including Boeing, Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, GE Aircraft Engines and Pratt and & Whitney developed AS 9000, based on ISO 9001, to provide a specific quality management standard for the aerospace industry. Reason 2 Prior to the adoption of an aerospace-specific quality standard, various corporations typically used ISO 9001 in their own complementary quality documentation requirements, such as Boeing's D19000 or the Automotive Q standard. Reason 3 This created a patchwork of competing requirements that were difficult to enforce and or comply with. Reason 4 The major American aerospace manufacturers combined their efforts to create a single, unified quality standard, based on ISO 9001-1994, resulting in AS 9000. Reason 5 Upon the release of AS 9000, companies such as Boeing discontinued use of their previous quality supplements in preference to compliance to AS 9000. AS 9000, 1997, Aerospace Basic Quality System Standard AS 9100, 1999 Although AS 9000 satisfied immediate needs, it was recognized that OEMS operate globally, a trend that would only increase, so a global standard was needed. The new standardized document, called 9100, was still based on ISO 9001 to 1994E, although it was published separately by each country's aerospace association or standards body, AS 9100 in the US. AS 9100 added 55 aerospace industry specific amplifications and requirements to ISO 9001 to 1994. 
AS 9100 Revision A, 2001, Model for Quality Assurance in Design, Development, Production, Installation, and Servicing. Point 1 During the rewrite of ISO 9001 for the year 2000 release, the AS Group worked closely with the ISO organization has revised it to ISO 9001 and incorporated major organizational and philosophical changes, AS 9000 underwent a rewrite as well. It was released as AS 9100 to the international aerospace industry at the same time as the new version of ISO 9001. Point 2 AS 9100 A is actually two standards references in one publication, Section 1 defines an updated QMS model aligned with the updated ISO 9001 to 2000 publication while, Section 2 defines a legacy model aligned with ISO 9001 to 1994. Organizations that in year 2001 were operating a QMS based on ISO 9001 to 1994 were permitted to conform to Section 2 with the expectation that they would then transition their QMS to Section 1. Context of the Organization Firstly Context of the Organization Point 1 Leadership Point 2 Planning Point 3 Support Point 4 Operation Point 5 Performance Evaluation Point 6 Improvement AS 9100 Revision B, 2004, Quality Management Systems, Aerospace Requirements As the period for transition from the 1994 to 2000 standards passed, AS 9100 B was released in 2004 as an administrative revised to eliminate Section 2 of the Revision A Standard. AS 9100 Revision C, 2009, Quality Management System, Requirements for Aviation, Space, and Defense Organizations. Point 1 The update of AS 9100 from Revision B to C is largely to address the following question, are as follows. Are supplier failing to meet our requirements? How is it possible that they still have their AS 9100 certificate? That is, the AS 9100C changes are driven by repeated delivery of non-conforming product and repeated late delivery by organizations that held AS 9100 AB certifications. Those organizations had documented controls that conform to the standard, however, there were insufficient processes in place to assure effectiveness of those controls. The response in this AS 9100 revision is to elevate the requirements for risk management and to make risk management an integrated theme throughout the standard. A major challenge to AS 9100 B compliant organizations was the new AS 9100 auditing standards defined in AS 9101 revision D which eliminates the clause-based compliance checklist and requires organizations to provide evidence of effectiveness of their systems and processes. Summary of changes between AS 9100B and AS 9100C Greater emphasis on risk management AS 9100 Revision C, 2009 Quality Management System, Requirements for Aviation, Space, and Defense Organizations. Point 1 introduces special requirements. Point 2 introduces critical items. Point 3 measure, requirements conformance. Point 4 on time delivery performance. Point 5 adopt proven product development processes. Point 6 eliminate recurring corrective actions. Point 7 AS 9100 Revision C was released in January 2009, with considerable delay in application of the new version in audits, largely due to the delay in the release of AS 9101 Revision D and auditor training to the increased auditing rigor of that update. AS 9100 Revision D, 2016 Quality Management System, Requirements for Aviation, Space, and Defense Organizations. 
5.1 The update of AS 9100 from Revision C to D includes the full text of ISO 9001 to 2015. In addition to aligning the structure of the aviation, space and defense requirements to the new structure of ISO 9001 to 2015, the following key changes were implemented. 16. Point 2 Product safety was added in a new clause and in other areas. Point 3 Counterfeit parts prevention was added in a new clause and in other areas. This was already in place in the AS 9110 and AS 9120 standards. Point 4 Risk clause was merged with the new ISO 9001 risk requirements along with an increased emphasis on risks in operational processes. Point 5 Awareness Clause was added with reinforced requirements for awareness of individual contribution to product and service quality and safety along with ethical behavior. Point 6 Human factors are included as a consideration in nonconformity management and corrective action. Point 8 Configuration management was clarified and improved to address stakeholder needs. Point 9 AS 9100 Revision D was released in September 20, 2016 17, with a certificate transition period aligned with the ISO 9001 to 2015 transition. AS 9100 Revision D 2016 Quality Management System Requirements for Aviation, Space, and Defense Organizations. Thanks to Mr. History and No Get Back in Touch with Mr. Present for example. AS 9100, 2016 Revision D. Ok. We came to know something about AS 9100 but why do we need it to our company? What are the benefits of AS 9100 Aerospace Quality Management? Point 1 Reduce the risk product or service mistakes and fatal failures. Point 2 Demonstrate effective quality management to achieve a license to trade. Ok. We came to know something about AS 9100 but why do we need it to our company? What are the benefits of AS 9100 Aerospace Quality Management? Point 1 Get a listing in the Online Supplier Information System, OASIS, database. Point 2 Become a preferred supplier and gain customer and stakeholder trust. OK. We came to know something about AS 9100 but why do we need it to our company? What are the benefits of AS 9100 Aerospace Quality Management? Continually improvement and whining international growth opportunities. OK. But how come AS 9100 for our company is helpful? AS 9100 does not only suit your company and all small, medium-sized businesses, SMES, with any scope of works, whose business made in lines to servers, supply and manufacture relates directly or indirectly to aerospace segments. Remember this is just to emphasize that aerospace segment or AS certification process includes space satellite, aircraft and defense segments works at all discipline. Does it really suits us and helps in shaping our business? Point 1 Yes business that invest in AS 9100, BSEN 9100, can get better results than those that don't, especially when competing with larger companies or competitors. Why Copic Hun Services? Point 1 We know that you may have well planned tighter budgets and less time to put quality management first. Point 2 That's why we Copic Hun Services LLP provide packages that can be customized to include only the services you need, removing the unnecessary cost and complexity of achieving AS 9100. 
Point 3. We can help you to cut out costly inefficiencies, reduce risk and raise operational standards. Point 3. You'll also meet legal requirements and secure your license to trade. AS 9100 will give your business big company status. Copicun Services LLP continuously helps you master quality management, continually improve and tap into international growth opportunities. Thanks for attending this training session. For more QMS training, tools and consultancy, contact us at copacun.com.